Hello, I'm Trey Hollibay, Superintendent of Athens City Schools, and I'd like to welcome you to our first Power Up Orientation. This is an exciting occasion for our community because today we begin the process of placing a MacBook Air in the hands of all 7th through 12th grade students. Today we come together as a community to devote our energy and faith to an initiative that enriches our children's lives and prepares them for the demands of college and the global workforce. Our Power Up initiative blends teaching, learning, and technology to provide our students with the engaging and personalized learning they deserve. Students, you are armed with a powerful tool. We encourage you to use your MacBook Air to create, design, and author in the online world in a positive way. Your school system and your community have faith that you will care for your laptop and respect the Power Up learning process. The Power Up initiative moves us forward, bringing about new ideas, new challenges, and new opportunities for teaching and learning. Today we go beyond the four walls of traditional education to embark on a new journey. Today we power up. Hello, my name is Chris Hamilton and I'm the coordinator of technology for the school district. My goal is to help make this experience rewarding and successful for students, teachers, and parents. The devices are being provided for you to use as an instructional tool. However, it is important to remember that they're property of the school district and can be monitored at any time. We are entrusting you to take care of the devices and to use them for your benefit during your time at Athens City Schools. Internet safety and appropriate online activity is of critical importance to our school district. Serving as a good digital citizen is an important characteristic and one that we stress by offering an internet safety curriculum at all grade levels. We encourage you as student leaders to set a high standard for yourself on how to use the internet. It's equally important that you as parents stress safety and appropriate use at school and at home. We have an internet filter in place that previews every website a student visits and block those that have been blacklisted as inappropriate. It is never our intent to block a valuable educational site, but we will always err on the side of caution. This filter will also work when students are away from school. However, no software can block 100% of inappropriate materials at all times. That is why it's so important that you as parents have conversations with your student about appropriate use. If a student does access an appropriate website, they need to tell a school official and we will have the site reviewed and if appropriate, blocked. I encourage each of you to take advantage of this opportunity and to use this tool you are being provided for positive change. After a great deal of planning and with great expectations, today we power up. I'm excited to kick off the deployment of our MacBook Airs to our students in grades 7 through 12. Each student will receive a laptop to use at school and to take home. During this orientation session, you will receive information about student and parent responsibilities regarding the MacBook Air in its use. The information presented in this video summarizes the Power Up program. It is the responsibility of the student and parent to read the Power Up handbook and the acceptable use policy and signing and accepting full responsibility for the laptop. When you have questions about the Power Up program, refer to the Power Up handbook or visit the Power Up website. If you need additional information, please contact your school's principal. I look forward to working with you. Today, we power up. Although we are all receiving a MacBook Air, it is not our personal computer. It is legally the property of Athens City Schools. Any files and content we download, create, transmit, and store on our MacBooks are not private and can be expected and deleted by the Athens City School District. By taking possession of our laptops, we, along with our parents, are fully responsible for the safety, security, care, and proper use of our MacBooks and their accessories. Jordan and Marie will highlight some helpful safety and care tips. Okay, 
Okay. Where does the charger go? In the backpack on the other side of your bag. And it fits in there perfectly. Do not leave your MacBook or its accessories unattended. Hey, what are you going to do with your MacBook while you're at practice? If you bring your MacBook to before or after school activities, performances, or sporting events, make sure your MacBook will receive secure storage. Hey, are you going to leave your MacBook in the car? No, because we're supposed to avoid leaving our MacBooks in a too hot or too cold vehicle. Can I borrow your MacBook for my next class? Do not let other students borrow your MacBook or its accessories. We're not supposed to let other people borrow our MacBook or accessories. Do not place heavy objects on top of your MacBook. <gasps> Stop! Do not place pencils, papers, or other objects on the keyboard or it will break the screen. Uh. Backup data and other pertinent files regularly on your Google Drive or a Jump Drive. Clean your MacBook screen with a soft, non-abrasive microfiber cleaning cloth. Whoa! Do not clean your MacBook with liquid cleaning products. You will be given the same MacBook Air each year, so be sure to take care of it. What you get is what you keep. We are being given a great tool to use in the classroom and at home. Like Mr. Holliday said, it is our responsibility to take care of our MacBooks. Today, we power up. If your MacBook is lost, stolen, or damaged, you will have to assume additional charges. These charges are outlined in the handbook in the Device Protection Plan section. Please be sure you and your parents understand the Device Protection Plan before you sign the Power Up Handbook. Today, we power up. If your device is damaged, it must be reported within 24 hours to the school principal. Not reporting damage or failing to report damage in a timely manner will increase the likelihood that the damage is not covered by the device protection plan. If damage is not covered by the device protection plan, you will be responsible for the amount of the repair cost for the damaged map book. For example, if a school administrator feels that you did not exercise proper care or take appropriate precautions with your MacBook and your behavior results in the damage to the laptop, the cost of the repair will be your responsibility. Today we power up. If your MacBook is lost or stolen on school grounds, report the incident to the principal immediately. If your MacBook is lost or stolen away from school grounds, report the incident to the law enforcement officials within 24 hours. Then provide documentation of the law enforcement report to the school principal within one school day of the occurrence. 
not reporting your MacBook is lost or stolen or failing to report in a timely manner will increase the likelihood that the loss is not covered by the device protection plan. Today, we power up. If your MacBook is damaged, lost, or stolen, the device protection plan will help cover the cost of replacement or repair to your MacBook. Although students and parents are responsible for the cost of any repairs to the MacBook, the Athens City School District is responsible for arranging for all repairs to your laptop. Do not try to repair the MacBook yourself. Don't worry. While your MacBook is being repaired, you won't miss a single assignment because the Athens City School District will assign a temporary MacBook to you. If your accessories are damaged, lost, or stolen, you will be responsible for the full cost of replacement. Today, Today we, we power, power up. up. We realize that not everyone has access to Wi-Fi in their home. So many of our local businesses have opened up their Wi-Fi access to you. A list of local places offering Wi-Fi is available to you or just look for the Power Up sticker. These businesses have invited you to use their Wi-Fi to access the internet. So remember, when you are using their Wi-Fi, you are representing the Athens City School District. Today, we power up. Much of what you're hearing today is addressed in the Power Up Handbook. Copies of this handbook are available today and are posted on our website. This handbook should be the first point of reference with any questions pertaining to the program. Today, we power up. During the year, you will be hearing a lot about a product called Canvas. This is our online learning management system and is what teachers will use to post information, assignments, and tests so that students may access them from home. This software, in addition to Eagle Apps, offers an excellent way for students to collaborate with each other and their teachers outside of the traditional classroom. Today, we power up.